Hi everyone, and welcome to this Apophysis Mandala Julian tutorial. Okay, so let's start by opening our program. Once you're there, go on the little file and open a new one. You're gonna get this. Now, we're gonna click on Editor. That's the FX button. And go on ahead and open also your adjustment window so now that we're here we're gonna start by uh, enabling your final transform and that's gonna allow us to have a mainframe for our mandala once we have enabled our final transform we're gonna go on and delete the variations that are set onto it and we're gonna put a new variation we're gonna find julian and we're gonna put a value of one. Now we're gonna change to our variables. We're gonna change the Julian power to seven. Now we're gonna go and change our number one transform, delete the linear value, find Julian and put a value of one. Once you have done this, you should have something like this flower of life. You can go on ahead and zoom in a little bit with your adjustment window. Once you have done that, we are gonna add a new transform. We're gonna select your new transform that should be named number two. And we're gonna change the weight to one. And we're gonna just play around with the Julian power just to portray what we can do with it. So if you set the values to different numbers, you're gonna get all these different variations that are gonna multiply the number of circles that are gonna be in your transform. So go on ahead and let's start by modifying our triangles. So in the triangle window, we're gonna go on ahead and make our final transform bigger. As you can see, if I change the value of the weight, I'm gonna get different effects so we're gonna just play around and we're gonna change our transform number two we're gonna add a different variation maybe add some uh swirl change it to 0 0.1 should be able to get into something like this maybe if we play with the julian value of that same transform we'll find different variation so if you go back to your first transform and you play with the size of your triangle this should enable you to start having a different shape that starts forming so here we're just really playing with the size of the different transforms we're not really doing anything uh, if you try and flip it flip your transform on the sides you're going to be able to see how it really changes the aspect and the shape of your mandala so if you're having trouble seeing your mandala uh, go on ahead in your adjustment window and adjust the gamma in the rendering uh, tab adjust your gamma and the brightness which should allow you to be able to see something more like this so I'm adding here a new transform that I'm setting to a weight of 0 0.1 and let's start flipping or transform to something like this and here we go here we start having some interesting textures that are appearing go on ahead and change the value of your first transform to 7 if you're not satisfied with the color, you can also go back to your adjustment window and change the preset that you have. There's a bunch of presets in the software that you can choose from. And these are all different colors that are gonna play in your mandala. For the moment, we're not gonna get in depth on how these colors apply to each transform. Uh, you can go on ahead and play with this as much as you like. You can get to pretty good uh, results as you're seeing so three transforms are your basic mainframe which is structure and texture all right once you have a satisfactory image there's two ways you can save your image one is by rendering your image through the render button straight from the software this is gonna this is gonna allow you to render it in different ways you can choose the size and the pixel quality. However, 
uh, the higher the pixels, the higher the time is gonna take you to render the image. And for this reason, I don't recommend this way. As you can see here, I am rendering my image and it's gonna take me 11 hours to render. That is too much. So let's close our tab and let's find a different path. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna change the quality of our image in the tab that is just found above here, like 150. And then we're gonna press the full screen button. Once you do that, a black screen like this should appear and a loading bar in green is gonna appear in the bottom. I'm gonna skip on ahead and show the full result once it's loaded. Once your image is loaded, you're gonna press the print screen key on your keyboard and we're gonna exit the full image. So we're going on the desktop, open up paint and we're gonna paste our image in paint. Crop it, save it in your files and voila. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll be seeing you the next time.